Bert Seelman here today. I'm going to talk to you about a problem that affects probably 80% of the people I talk to and 90% plus of the ladies that I talk to. And it's about the waiting game. The waiting game is constipation. The average person out there does not have regularity in their bowel habits. And you know, it's really important. If I have to know about people's input, I also need to know about their output. And this is where all the problems are coming today with a lot of the gut problems, a lot of the colon cancers, all the other things. Health really does start with having proper movement through the digestive tract. So one of the things that people never think about is that you know, if you look at a puppy or you look at a baby, you know, they eat, they go. They drink, they go. You know, they're not broken. And too many people are broken, they're just not working. I talk to ladies that will have one bowel movement every three or four days. And this shouldn't be. Now let's just do some common thinking here, okay, for just for one second. Let's think about if I have three meals a day, which I should be doing, even if they're not the best meals. Three meals a day, seven days a week, that's 21 meals. And if I have one bowel movement a day, where are the other 14 meals? Well, they're inside, putrefying. Now, compound that times four weeks in a month and go on and on. And so what we're having in there is really stagnation. What we're really having is lack of movement, the peristaltic action in the gut actually able to work and move the food through slows down. Obviously, we haven't had some very important things, and that first one is water. That four quarts of water per day per person. And if you can, move it out over the hours. I try to tell people to get one quart of water every four hours. And that's only about four ounces per half hour. The other thing is you need to think about is what kind of food are you eating? Are you getting the fiber? And when I say fiber, stay away from the starches and the dairy. Remember, starches and dairy, when you were a kid, you took flour and milk and you made paste. Hello? Maybe that's why it's slow moving through the gut. What we need is fiber. Lots of vegetables. The average person needs anywhere from 6 to 10 cups of vegetables per day. And then lighten up on the starches. And when you don't have this movement through the gut, part of the problem is, is that all your blood gets toxic. And that toxicity gets into the blood, then it gets into the whole system. So one of the things you can think about is starting with this. Start watching the starches, the amount of starches you're eating. Two, start eating much, much more vegetables. I'm talking even vegetable juice with the fiber in it, but you need it all three meals there should be vegetables at least. Even vegetable juice at breakfast is better than fruit juice. The next thing is, is avoid those starches. And then we want to look at raw apple cider vinegar. Raw apple cider vinegar creates a much better digestive uh, culture in your stomach. It creates your own natural flora. You don't need to be using dairy products, which actually scum up and cause mucus in the digestive tract. And by using this raw vinegar, it helps the digestion. You can have a little bit with each meal. I tend to have people put two teaspoons to a tablespoon in about two or three ounces of water just prior to their meals. If you've had a big or a heavy meal and you want digestion and you feel like your stomach is you know, not working, instead of taking an antacid, try taking the vinegar. The vinegar is a much, much better uh, way to go with that. The other thing that you can use if you're having trouble with your digestive tract and you're having constipation and you're trying to get everything to work is to make sure you get a tablespoon of olive oil or safflower oil that's not cooked with on your lunch, uh, at your lunchtime and at your dinner. And the other thing that you want to make sure that you can use a little extra of is vitamin C. The worst side effect you'll ever have from too much vitamin C is loose stools. So let's not play the waiting game. Let's get our gut working. Let's get everything doing what we should be doing. Get the peristaltic action working so our gut is healthy and move on from there, literally. Have a great day. Thank you.